Sunday service in the key of Pechersk Lavra, a sprawling monastic complex of churches in the Ukrainian capital, and one of the holiest sites in Eastern Orthodox Christianity. In the Orthodox tradition, all believers are united in worship in the Kingdom of God. On earth though, things don't always work out that way. Two weeks back, Pechersk Lavra was raided by Ukraine's security service looking for pro-Russian activity. Other Ukrainian churches affiliated to the Moscow Patriarchate have been searched too. All bodies responsible for ensuring national security must intensify measures to identify and counter the subversive activities of Russian special services in the religious environment of Ukraine. Ukraine's Orthodox Church structure is fractured. Traditionally, it was subordinate to Moscow. But in 2019, an independent Ukrainian Orthodox Church was recognized by Orthodoxy's highest authority in Istanbul. And following Russia's February invasion, the branch, still affiliated to Russia, renounced its Moscow ties. But suspicions of collusion remain. President Zelensky says he wants new legislation to safeguard Ukraine's spiritual independence. But there's a growing danger of trampling Ukraine's constitutional rights to religious freedom. Worshippers at Pechersk Lavra insist they're loyal Ukrainians and there's nothing to hide here. Russia is an aggressor, so action is needed, but it must be done correctly. There is no need to do these searches. What's to search for here? The security service behaved very politely. We have nothing against the guys. They did their job. They came, they checked. We showed them everything. Serhii Yushik, who teaches at the Lavra, believes lawbreakers can be prosecuted without the need for new legislation. The state must ensure equality by law without resorting to media spin. But at the same time, the state has the right and obligation to protect its territorial integrity. If religious organizations adopt a particular idea that harms the state, they must answer according to the law. A priest from the Lavra was arrested for supposedly leading a pro-Russian chant. Alleged anti-Ukrainian propaganda was seized in other church raids. In wartime, loyalties are constantly questioned and Ukraine's leadership wants priests to show which side they're on. Rory Challens, Al Jazeera, Kyiv.